Good morning. Welcome to Grace Tabernacle Baptist Church's 10.45 a.m. service. We want to welcome all of our Facebook and Instagram viewers also this morning. Um, for those who might be um, listening, you can also uh, watch our service or listen to our service, I'm sorry, on our church conference call number. Today is a special Sunday. It's Mother's Day. And we want to recognize and honor all mothers, all aunties, all mamanims, all <laughs> uncles, everyone who has played a part as a mother figure. We just want to say God bless you and happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. Our service today will be just a little different. We will be having our uh, Devotion in Motion praise dancers, and we do have a special guest this morning that will be speaking, and you'll be introduced to her a little later, but that's Sister uh, Juliet Price will be our special speaker. So at this time, I would like to have Sister Daniels come with a selection. This song is dedicated to all the mothers, whether you're biological, blood or not. This is to you. You've been faithful, you've been true. Happy Mother's Day to you. And for your faithfulness. It's your time You've applauded Everyone else When you needed it For yourself And for your faithfulness It's your time Oh You've been faithful, you've been true, and you've done all you can do. And for your faithfulness, it's your time. Oh, you've encouraged everyone else. Now it's your time. To be blessed And for your faithfulness It's your time You have waited for so long But mother you held on And you were strong For your faithfulness is your time. You've encouraged everyone else. Now it's your time to be blessed. And for your faithfulness, Mother, it's your time. Oh. Waited for so long, you held on, you were strong, and for your faithfulness, it's your time. Oh, you have waited for so long, but you held on some. You had to be strong And for your faithfulness It's your time 
Right here, we just wanted to make this a tribute to mothers all over the world. Even those women that have acted in the capacity of being a mother. I know I love my mother, and if you have your mother with you today, love on her and let her know how much you appreciate her. See, God said, Mom, I've seen your tears and I've seen your stamina throughout the years. Sometimes having children and putting them first instead of yourself, I understand what that's about. So I just want to, from my heart and from Grace Tabernacle, tell you how important mothers are to the Lord. The Bible says, honor thy father and thy mother that your days shall be long upon the land of the living. So I just want to say, mother, keep doing what you're doing. All the tears you've cried and all the nights you've been awake for your children. God has saw those times and he's going to reward them. Believe me, I know. So we want to, from the bottom of our heart today, say happy, happy, blessed Mother's Day to you. Okay? We want you to know it's your day today. Oh, you've been faithful. You've been true. Happy Mother's Day to you. And for your faithfulness, God said he puts the crown on. And for your faithfulness, even a white robe, huh? And for your faithfulness, just stand up in there. And for your faithfulness. And for your faithfulness, God honors faithfulness. And for your faithfulness, it's your time, yes it is. And for your faithfulness, Mother, it's your time. Happy Mother's Day. Amen, amen. Thank you, Sister Daniel. Amen. And again, to all of our mothers, happy Mother's Day. At this time, we'll have Sister Rogers come with our invocation and our scripture, followed by devotion and motion as they come to praise stands for us. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Brown. We do thank God for everything that has gone before. And now if we could just steal our hearts a little bit and give some thought to what we're about to experience in this house of worship. We want to give God the glory and all the praise. So if you bow your head with me. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you. It is another day that you have given us, another opportunity where we can humbly come to you with thoughtful hearts, saying, Lord, we appreciate you. We thank you. We lift you up. We give you all of the praise. We come to you because there is no one else that can fix the things that we need fixing. Father, we ask you for all of the impossible things today because that's what the heart of a mother does. Sees into the future what could be and directs and guides and leads in that way. So we ask you, Lord, to hear the heart of every person who is suffering today, each one that has lost loved ones, some not able to see them off and close a door because there's no gathering together. But Father, we thank you because you are God no matter what we are allowed to do. We ask you, O oh Lord, to be the comforter that you promised you would send. We thank you, Father, for not only being the comforter but being the healer. You are our strength and you are our energy and you are our connection to one another. We thank you, Lord, that your love is shed abroad in our hearts. We thank you, Lord, because we're excited when we consider that there are so many, O oh Lord, who are praying today. There's so many that are coming to turn their faces towards you again 
maybe remembering how it was when they were children, how you comforted them, O oh Lord, when they were in the church or in the Sunday school. And Father, it's not just this Sunday, but people have been praying all week, all month, all year, and some for a whole lifetime for this moment to come together with other saints of God, other people worshiping you and lifting you up. Father, bless the role of mother that so many people have taken. Caregivers, oh God. CEOs, Lord. Those who are uh, nurses and doctors. Those that work in offices. Those that scrub and clean when we don't even know that they're doing it. Those that are up in the morning early and going to bed late at night. Working to put others through school, oh God, when they didn't have an opportunity. We thank you and praise you because sacrifice is the name of what you did for us. In the same way, there are so many that take on the role of mother, sacrificially giving of their lives. We thank you and praise you, O oh God, for each one. No matter whether they might have that title of mother, Lord, they carry the role of mother. I thank you and I praise you, O oh God, for everything that you have done. And we as a church lift up your holy name today, worshiping you, loving you, and praising you at all times, forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. And at this time, we're going to turn in our Bibles to Proverbs chapter 31, verses 28 and 29. Praise God. Her children will rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you've surpassed them all. That's Proverbs chapter 31, verses 28 and 29. And if you would go with me to Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Praise God. We thank the Lord for the reading of the scripture and the prayer that has gone forth. And at this time, we're going to hear from our own, or watch, our praise dancers in devotion and motion. God bless you. You don't know what I've been through Let me share my story with you All the things that he brought me through My stormy days and my rainy days You don't know all the tears I've cried Things I've kept Bottled up inside Trying My best to be strong Waiting on God And holding on You don't know Down. Yeah. 
You don't know. You don't know. You just don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Tell somebody you just don't know. don't know and we don't know what each and every person has gone through but we want to thank Marcus Jr. and we want to thank um, Brittany Depp of Devotion in Motion for that wonderful wonderful praise dance amen 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 and now we will um, have some announcements first of all I do want to mention that yes Yesterday, we had our food bank, and the food bank giveaway, there was more than 100 families that were served. So we want to praise God for that. Amen. And I just want to give a shout out to Faith Piper and all, all of the volunteers that were here yesterday, because it was cold. Some places there was a little snow, but they were out yesterday, and they were able to serve the community, and we just want to thank them for that. Amen. Amen. Just a reminder, um, conference call uh, for Sunday school is at 930, and our Bible study conference call is at 630 on Wednesdays. Um, and again, saints, let's, reminder, let's remember to pray for our sick and our shut-in. I have not received any updated list at this point, but you know of the ones that we've had in the past, so let's just continue to pray for our sick and our shut-in. Do you remember our Grace Challenge? It's a reminder to keep in touch with at least five members per week, and not the same members that you called last week. Let's call some different members, but at least five members per week just to remind them that we're thinking of them. We miss them. You know, we may not be able to worship together right now, but the Lord is working everything all, all out because it's in his hands. Um, a reminder also regarding um, giving. We want to thank our members who have been faithfully sending in um, their, their um, offerings. Uh, some have done it by PayPal. Um, and you can mail them in. You can also drop them off at the church here on Mondays and Wednesdays. But we thank you for continuing to give so that the church can maintain its service. Amen? And you can also give by going to Grace, um, going to Grace Tabernacle of Lyndhurst.org, or, or you can go to Grace Tab. Dot net as far as giving um, and, and having the information there to give. 
At this time, I don't have any further announcements, but I would like to have Sister Dawson to please come and introduce our speaker for the day. It is an honor to introduce our instinct, distinct speaker of this special day. She is a woman in my book and in the eyes of many, seen as an unsung hero. Juliette Lawrence Price, born in Jamaica to Charles, to Charles and Catherine Lawrence, the 11th of 14 siblings. Juliette is a graduate of York Castle High School in St. Anne. She pursued her education to become a registered nurse at the University of the West Indies in 1970 and also became a certified midwife in 1973 and delivered over 100 babies. Juliet Lawrence Price married for 46 years to the Reverend Dr. Jeremiah B. Price until his passing in January 2017. She and her late husband moved to the United States from Jamaica in 1977. She retired from Cleveland Clinic of 40 years in various leadership positions. She is the proud mother of two adult children and the loving grandmother of Remy and Lola. She enjoys reading, studying, and digging deeper into God's word. She enjoys singing, humming, especially the old hymns. Teaching is her spiritual gift and really getting to know the people she meets in this life journey. Most importantly, she is a believer, a child of God. Not only is she a member of Praise Tabernacle Baptist Church, she is the co-founder alongside her late husband, Reverend Dr. Jeremiah B. Price. Julia has, has received many awards and accolades of her leadership role at the Cleveland Clinic. But it brought her great joy to honor, to be honored by the CBA Christian Education in leading and organizing Sunday School and the Children and Youth Department. I would be remiss if I did not introduce her as the daughter of a praying mother and grandmother whom herself has become unceasingly a praying mother and grandmother. I would like to introduce to some and to present to others after this next selection, none other than Sister Juliet Lawrence Price, the mother of Great Tabernacle Baptist Church. Can I say thanks for the things you've done for me? Things so undeserved, yet you died to prove your love for me. The voice says of a million angels. Cannot express my gratitude For all that I am And ever hope to be I owe it all All to thee To God Be the glory To God 
glory to God be the glory for the things he has done with his blood he saved me with his power For the things he has done Just let me live, let me live my life Lord, let it be pleasing to thee And if I should gain any praise Let it go to cast To God be the glory for the things he has done. I give God thanks this morning for the privilege of standing here to proclaim that God is in control. And to him I give all honor and glory. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Pastor Dawson, for giving me this opportunity to do this. You don't know what I've been through. <laughs> But today, as we celebrate Mother's Day, we just want to say to all mothers out there, you're blessed. And that is the title of my sermon today. Sister Maria, thank you. Thank you for that beautiful song, my tribute. 
It is one of my most favorite songs, and um, I've always attributed to it to my mother because she is the reason why I'm here today. Let us pray. Dear God, I just thank you for today. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your presence in our midst. I thank you for what you have given to us. But more than anything, Lord, I just want to thank you for the health and strength that you've given to mothers so that they can be your caretaker for the children you have given to us. I thank you, Lord. And this morning, as I speak, please cover me. Great is your faithfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, COVID-19 has changed the way we live. It has changed the way things are today. And it has been especially hard on mothers because so much is expected of them. Today, a mother is a woman, a wife, a teacher, a friend, a gym teacher. She is a nurse, a caretaker, a provider, everything that goes with it. And we stop to think of why this is, but it is bringing us back to our roots because this is what was intended from the very beginning. The other things that we have depended on so much to teach our children and to greet our children and to make our children who they are, at some point we have abdicated that. And we're sort of coming back to our roots to remind us, remind us, dear Lord, of what your intentions are. So pray with me today as we talk about this. The scripture that was read from um, Proverbs, her children rise up and call her blessed. It is such a deep insight into what motherhood is. You know, I got a card this morning that says, without grace and mother's love, I wouldn't stand as tall or walk as proud. And another one that says, remind me of what home is. Motherhood is everything. I remember growing up, and I used to hear all these songs. Jesus loved me, this I know. I'll be a sunbeam for Jesus. This little light of mine Tell me the stories of Jesus. And I remember one especially that we usually sing, and then it didn't mean anything to me then, but now, looking back, and as I raise my kids, oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Be careful, little ears, what you hear. Be careful, little hands, what you do. And be careful, little feet, where you go. For there's a father up above who is looking down in love. So be careful. And this is a charge. As mothers, we have to make sure we guide our kids into understanding that whatever we do, wherever we go, we have a father looking over our shoulders. And a mother will guide her children through that phase. One of the songs that I love most dearly is if I could hear my mother pray again. I would hear my mother sing it as she hung close on the line out in the sunshine. And again, I didn't know what that meant, but I know now what it means. And the last favorite is No Charge by Shirley Caesar. This was one where a little boy went to his mother with the bills for all he had done. And mother was ex able to explain to him what could wipe that bill away. So as we stand here this morning, we're going to be talking about mothers. Who really is a mother? And I think Sister Maria related to it earlier when she said it is not necessarily biological. 
mothering is the relationship to a child and a woman. Simply putting it, mothers care. It is a never ending gift of love. And these relationships are formed whether by birth, adoption, or fostering, whether formal or informal. Let's look at some of the mothers of the Bible. Hannah, she was Samuel's mother. She prayed for a child for many, many years. She suffered ridicule and a lot of that other stuff. When God gave her a child, she was able to take him home, train him, and then she gave him back to God at the age of 12. Then we think of Moses' mom. Pharaoh threatened to kill all the babies, so she had to save her son. So what did she do? She put him on the river. And guess who found him? Pharaoh's daughter. And she took him home, raised him as her own very son. And then, as she raised him as her son, he had all the rights and privileges of the palace. He was a prince. And then if you think of Naomi and Ruth, Mary, the mother of Jesus, she didn't know what she was in for. She was only told, you're going to be a mother at age 14. But she kept those things as he grew and pondered them in her heart. And then... Lois, Timothy's mother. She taught him scriptures. She taught him, along with his grandmother, the way of the Lord. And what happened? He was able to minister to Paul when Paul was in prison. Paul commended Lois. And then we think of others. There are so many others we could refer to. But this one always make tickle me when I hear it. Our own pastor Dawson, he's always talking about his mom. Even when he was tore up from the floor, I've never heard that before, but you know, he talked so much of her and how she prayed for him, calling his name aloud, even when he was in his term no good. But mother kept on praying. And look where he is today. My Lord, can you question that? Not at all. So we give thanks to God for those mothers who are doing what they're supposed to do. And then we look at the qualities of a mother. What are they? Mothers are required to do so much. They have so many roles to play. But most important qualities of mothers are, and I'm talking in the, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm talking in the um, context of a godly mother. A godly mother is strong. She is as strong as steel, but then she's as gentle as down. And don't mess with a mother. Don't mess with a child because mama is going to come and get you. She's resilient. Wow. She's resilient she bounces back when she's fallen down, when tragedies hit, or when disappointment comes, or when there is failure. Mother is resilient. She's going to bounce back. Get up, brush up, and keep going. 
Mothers are magical. They are able to wipe away tears. They heal wounds with kisses. And they melt disappointments with hugs. Mothers are rich in character. And they are powerful. And they know how to forgive. Some mothers are poor, but they are able to provide needs. You know, I often say, moms are the real master of self-denial because they will make sure their kids have everything they need while they go without. Mothers are human. They display virtue by principle, but they are not without fault but they survive through faith in God. Every mother faces adversities. But the end result is always successful depending on their faith in God. Mothers support their children and mothers take care of them. It is said it is easier to build a child than to repair an adult. Praying mothers are not fearful. They know the power of prayer. They do what they have to do in order to survive, and the greatest thing that they do is to pray. God requires of us just to love our children. And when I say love, not give them everything they need, but really provide for them. Be present with them. Spend time with them. Encourage them. Again, that word keeps coming back. Pray with them. Pray aloud with your children. Teach them the way of God and correct them when needs be. Proverbs says, train up a child in the way he should go. So when he's old, he will not depart from it. That is so true. If we do not correct our children, then guess what? Somebody else will. And it may not be in the way that we want it to be. So make sure we correct our children. Correct them in the right way. Protect them. I don't know if you've ever seen a mother hen, but when she has her chicks around her, they're out playing, but whenever danger lurks, there's a bird that is called a hawk. Whenever danger lurks, mother hen gathers her chicks under her wings and she stand firm. And it is said that there's no more vicious uh, animal than a lion, a, a mother lion with her cubs. So mothers protect. Mothers celebrate their children in their successes and in their failures. Because failure is only a stepping stone to success. So don't ever look at failure as something that should not be. It is a step in, because if you don't fail, you don't know how to rise. If you don't fall down, you never know how to get up and walk. If you watch a child who is learning to walk, he is just trotting along, but then he falls down, he never sits down and says, I'm not getting up again. Either with the outstretched arm of a mother or holding on to a table or something, that child is going to get up and walk again. So let us remember that. Mothers, you are unique, precious. You are irreplaceable. Again, just listen to your children. Never stop praying for them. Sing to them. Care for them. There's a story told of an autistic boy who was with his mother all the time. There are times when she was tired 
And there are times when she felt she had given everything she had. But the one thing she was always able to do was to sing to this child. And she would sing often this special song that has become their, had become their bond. At her passing, during the funeral services, the, ch the song was being played and nobody was singing. And then from the back came this rusty, off-key voice. This young boy was singing his mama's song. I guess he was saying in his mind, how could they not be singing? This is a song my mama always sings, so because nobody was singing, he was singing his mama's song. And that's what it is. We may think our children are not looking hearing, and we may think they're not watching us, but they are. They're learning. You know, I was talking with a friend the other day, and she has a seven-year-old, and she said, my God, Mrs. Price, my daughter is becoming me already. She's saying the things I'm saying, and I never thought that, but our kids will become who we want them to be, because they're not listening to every word you say. They're watching you and they hear your songs and your prayers. Mothers, we have a hard job. We face many challenges. But as, as I've said before, if you pray without ceasing and you never stop. You know, there was this woman, Susan Wesley, mother of John and Charles Wesley. Susan had 14 kids. She had very little time to pray. But you know what? She had her private war room. That was her bathroom. That she would go to pray. And the result was her kids were successful. So mothers, don't find excuses not to pray. You can pray in the kitchen. You can pray in the shower. You can pray over the dinner as you are singing. But you have to pray. Sister Jolly, if you would just um, do the clip that I have, we have to also protect our children. And when they are ready to go, we have to make sure that they go. And even if we have to push them, we have to make sure that they go. Because until they go, we will not know if our prayers are being answered. So Sister Jolly is going to run a clip. It is about the eagle pushing the young eagle out of the nest. You know, when a child comes to going off to college or doing other things, there's a lot of fear. It's the edge of the nest. Her heart quivered with conflicting emotions as she felt their resistance to her persistent nudging. Why does the thrill of soaring have to begin with the fear of falling, she thought. This ageless question was still unanswered for her. As is the tradition of her species, her nest was located high upon the shelf of a sheer rock face. Below, there was nothing but air to support the wings of each child. Is it possible that this time it will not work, she thought? Despite her fears, the eagle knew it was time. Her parental mission was all but complete. There remained one final task. The 
eagle drew courage from an innate wisdom. Until her children discovered their wings, there was no purpose for their lives. Until they learned how to soar, they would fail to understand the privilege it was to have been born an eagle. The push was the greatest gift she had to offer. It was her supreme act of love. And so one by one, she pushed them. And they flew. Sometimes we need it, sometimes we need to give it. So mothers, motherhood is bittersweet. We hold our children close, only to release them into the world when they're ready. And sometimes, like the eagle, they need to be pushed out of the nest, but they need to go. Your connection to them is through prayer. And I'll just read this image of a mother to you. When you're four years of age, your children think you can do anything. When you're eight years old, you know a whole lot. When you're 12 years old, my mother doesn't really know more than what I know. When you're 14 years old, mother, oh, naturally, she doesn't know it at all. 16 years old, mother, she's hopelessly old-fashioned. At 18 years old, oh, She's way out of date. At 25, well, she might know a little about what we're talking about. And at 35, before we decide, can we consult with mother? At 45, oh, I wonder what mom would have thought about that. And at 65, I wish mother was here. She would know what we should do. So mother, don't be discouraged. When your job is done, let go. There are times when you are needed and when you, there are times when you are not. To adult children, what I can say to you is, mothers need to be cared for just like she cared for you. Don't abandon her. Don't ignore her. Treat her right. She cared for you so you can care for her. You don't have to be home with her. Make sure she is okay. Give her a call. Do what you need to do to make sure that she's fine. Because you know what? The way you treat your mother is the way your kids are going to treat you. So what goes around comes around. Pray for your mother. Keep them safe. In today's world, it is so often to see adult mother, to see mothers being abandoned. We must take care of our mothers and we must remember who they are. Without them, we would not be here. Mother is a wonderful blessing. There's a song that says, love the people that God gives you, for someday you'll call them back. So enjoy your mother today. Mothers, enjoy your children, because someday the memories will be what we have to live by. So make memories today. I thank you for listening. May you have a blessed and happy Mother's Day. Lord God, I just thank you for this day, and I thank you for these words that have been spoken, and I pray, Lord, that some hearts will be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Amen, amen, amen. The mother of Grace Tabernacle Baptist Church. Mother, I don't want you to go too far, but before we do anything else, so we, there may be somebody out there who have not given their life to Christ, so we want to give them that opportunity right now. And it's not a difficult thing to do. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord or personal Savior, this is a great day to do it on Mother's Day. You will have a father who loves you with an everlasting love. It's a very simple thing to do. Just pray this prayer after me. Father, forgive me for every sin I have sinned against you. I ask you now to come into my heart and save me. Make me the person you would have me to be. I thank you for dying on the cross for me and giving me eternal life. I believe in your birth, your death, and I know you're coming back again. Amen. My friends, if you pray that prayer, you are saved. Welcome to the family of the living God. Amen. I don't know about you, but I've been blessed this morning. Words of wisdom from the mother of Grace Tabernacle Baptist Church. And she has been a mother to all of us here at Grace. And her love extends beyond these four walls out into the community, doing what she has been doing for many, many years. Mother, thank you so much for those words. God bless you. God bless you. Excellent job. Now, she doesn't know this, but as long as she's here, she's going to be our Mother's Day speaker every year. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And Lady Laverne, would you just, we want to give, we want to present something to you, Mother. I know this is breaking all the social distancing rules, but if you could come up, we just want to present this to you. As a token of our love, amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> amen. Practicing social distancing. Amen. We, we're not done yet. Uh, Sister Marie, could you come up as well? We want to just bless you as well. Amen for what you have been doing. You are the, the songbird here. We thank you for coming and blessing us with your beautiful, beautiful voice. Amen. Leslie, we not done with, come on up. Amen. God bless you. Reverend Brown, come on down. We just got a little token of our appreciation. Amen. We just want to give you something to let you know that we love you. Amen. Come on up, Vern. You can just come on up. We breaking, we breaking social distancing rules for two seconds. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Leslie, God bless you. Amen. Amen. We got one for uh, Sister Marie back in the back. She's doing our, uh, amen. We, we ain't forgot you. We got you covered. But we just want to honor mothers today. It's been a great day. It's been a great day as we just celebrate a great God. Amen. Amen. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. We've been blessed with beautiful music. We've been blessed by devotion and motion. We have been blessed by a word from on high. I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Enjoy your day. But I don't know about you, but I say every day is Mother's Day. Amen. We need to appreciate our mothers each and every day. So God bless you. Thank you. I always say God is right here. Mom is right there. Amen. She's the closest thing to our Heavenly Father. When you have a good mother, when you have a Christian mother, You've got a good thing, a good thing. So once again, happy Mother's Day. Be safe out there, everybody. They're starting to open up the economy and people are moving around. It's very important that you practice your social distancing and wear the mask as well. And just be safe out there. Amen. We're going to get through this. But in the meantime, we just hold on to God's unchanging hand and he will see you through. Thank you very much for joining us this morning on Facebook on Instagram, on the conference call. Amen. May God bless you and keep you until we meet again. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. God bless you.
everybody. Excellent job. Excellent job. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's